We are tiny, tiny parts of Krishna. Just like the spark comes from the fire. So we are very small compared to Krishna. But we are thinking we are very great. Chandrabana, please. We are thinking everything you have to say is so important. Amrit, is it so important? No talking. Mohan, come away from you. Have to, you can't sit so close. To now stay like this. We are thinking we are God. Sit up, oh. Sit up. You're not God. You're not Krishna. You're a tiny, tiny servant. And you think Krishna needs your service? Does Krishna need your service? Krishna has many people serving him. But we think my service is the best. But we think my service is the most important. So this is one disease which is there in the material world. That we want to become Krishna, we want to take Krishna's position. And then the other disease is that we want to become one with Krishna. One is we try to become Krishna, the other is just to become one with Krishna. We, say, we talk about merging. We were, we were telling you the other day about merging. So people want to merge with Krishna. Remember I gave the example when you make the halava. When you cook the halava, what do you put in the halava? Yeah, you have sugar and butter and raisins and mm -hmm. suji and water all mixed together. And it all becomes one. So the same way people, sometimes when people are very disappointed and unhappy with the material world, they want to become one with the, with the, the spiritual, with the Brahman. They want to give up being a person, they want to just become one with the light, with the functions. So these are the two diseases which devotional service can cure. But we have to do pure devotional service. 
แต่ว่าเราเนี่ยจะต้องปฏิบัติการที่ต้นเสียสละรับใช้ที่บริสุทธิ์ pure devotional service means eating means 24 hours a day seven days a week การที่ต้นเสียสละรับใช้หมายถึง24ชั่วโมงต่อวันแล้วก็Just like that shop down the road, the 7-Eleven, they never close. Right, always open. All day, all night. So our devotional service should be like that. Saga. Should be doing devotional service without stop. Right, but you can also take rest. Yeah, because you need to take rest to do more service. So we have to also understand what we're doing. We have to know who is Krishna. Some people don't know the difference between Krishna and Rama. Right? What's the difference, Amrit? Who's who's Rama and who's Krishna? Rama is who? Rama. Rama. What does he look like? You don't know. Sagar, you know? What's the difference? Oh, what color is Krishna? Krishna is yellow. What color is Rama? Rama. Lakshman, 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 do you know who is Rama and who is Krishna? Lakshman, Sarma, I am in Haram, I am in Pakistan. What's the difference? Okay, but what's the other difference? Is
When he goes to Dwarka, he doesn't have these things. All right, so we have to know who is Krishna and who is Rama. We, are, we say, I'm a devotee. We say, devotee of Krishna. Yeah, we don't know who is Krishna. We don't recognize Krishna. And what does Krishna do? What's Krishna's pastime? Why is Krishna Bhagavan? In Bhagavad Gita, we're learning the slope. When Krishna speaks, it says, Sri Bhagavan Nubhacha. Why is Krishna Bhagavan? Who knows? Why is Krishna Bhagavan? Because he is Bhagavan. <laughs> <laughs> That's not enough. Chandra do you know? What does what does Bhagavan mean? And Bhagavan Bhagavan means one who has all opulency. Right, so what, what opulence means? When there is a lot of wealth. And another opulence, someone is very strong. Another one very famous. And somebody else very intelligent, a lot of knowledge. And another one is very good looking. And the other one is very renowned. So, does Krishna have a lot of wealth? Does Krishna have any wealth? Does he have any money, any jewels, any gold? Did he have any Did he have any wife? How many wives? Lord Rama only had one. Lord Rama had one wife. But how about Krishna? Infinity. One. One thousand. Infinity. 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 Infin
ร้อยแปดคนมาหนึ่งหมื่นพันกี่พันหกพันหนึ่งร้อยแปดคนจำไว้เลยหนึ่งหกหนึ่งสิบแปดแล้วอาศัยอยู่ที่ไหนคะจังหวัดพัทยาลัยไม่ใช่ตอนนี้ลงมาในโลกวัตถุอยู่ที่ไหนยาสับพาวเลสบอร์ดี้ไทรแล้วก็มีมีภรรยาทั้งหมดขนาดนี้เนี่ยพิชชาเนี่ยมีประสาทให้กับภรรยาทุกคนประสาทรู้จักไหมคะแต่ละคนเลยประสาทให้กับทุกคนอันนึงก็คนนึงใช่ใช่รวยปะประสาทอันนึงก็ไม่รวยเลย so you have to have a lot of money to have so many palaces เพราะฉะนั้นจะต้องมีเงินมากมายมหาศาลที่จะมีสามารถมีประสาทได้มากขนาดนี้ and to have so many wives you need a lot of money แล้วก็ในการที่จะมีภรรยาหลายคนเนี่ยก็ต้องใช้เงิน Just to have one wife, you have to have a lot of money. So to have 16,000 wives. So Krishna had so much money. And Krishna, is Krishna strong? What did he do to show how strong he is? Okay, okay, okay. So he picked up Govardhan. He was so he's very strong. Is Krishna very famous? Ah, the top. Ah, top. Ah, the top. Ah, the top. Ah, อย่างไรคะใครรู้จักพิชชามาเอาพิเศษดังได้ไงพิชชาชื่อดังได้ไงคะเพราะเขาเป็นบุคลิกสภาพสูงสุดของพระเจ้าพิเศษดังที่ไ
Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita in one or two hours. Can you understand Bhagavad Gita? You're studying your whole life. You cannot understand. And Krishna spoke it on the battlefield in one or two hours. And so many big professors and big teachers, they are trying to understand Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna is the most intelligent. Is Krishna renounced? How do you know? What did he do? Well, that, that's not renunciation. So many gopis, they all wanted Krishna, and Krishna told them to go home. He didn't want them. <laughs> Krishna is very renowned. Is Krishna good looking? Krishna <coughs> Krishna doesn't get old. <coughs> He, you can see he's a baby with Mother Yashoda. And then he grows to a young man. And you can see here with the gopis and with Arjuna. Is he, is he, old? Is he old there? No, he, he doesn't become old. But you, we all become old. We are different from Krishna. So do you remember all these opulences of Krishna? Do you remember how many opulences? Mohan, are you listening? All, all famous. Krishna is famous all over. Is Krishna only famous on this planet? Krishna, yeah. ดังเนี่ยค่ะเป็นมีที่เสียงแค่ในจักรวาลนี้หรือเปล่าคะสามโลกสามโลกสามโลกก็หมายถึงหนึ่งจักรวาลสามโลกในหนึ่งจักรว
Krishna has wonderful qualities. And we are devote the devotee is attracted by the qualities of Krishna. Just like when Krishna plays the flute. Remember last week we had the one devotee here, he also played the flute. So when he played the flute, is that the same as Krishna playing the flute? No. What's the difference? Krishna played better. How do you know he played better? When Krishna plays the flute, all the demigods are all attractive. And all the gopis, they hear the sound of the flute and they all come running to Krishna. Now when, when, when that devotee played, played the flute, did any gopis come running? <laughs> Krishna performs pastimes. What one of the things Krishna does is he is called the, the butter thief. Do you like butter? Mohan likes butter. Mohan 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 you like butter? Okay, I think you all like butter. Krishna likes butter, he, he steals the butter. And when he steals it, what does he do with it? Eats it, share it with Who does he share it with? Monkey. Huh? Monkey. Yeah, with the monkeys. Yeah. And the gopas. And the gopas. So Krishna, if you were known as a thief, if you were a thief, is that very good? No. Oh, we say he's a big thief, that rascal, he's a big thief. Is that, you, you like to be a thief? What happens to the thief? Yeah, it goes to jail. Policeman come. So is, is Krishna a thief? Not really. Why? Because it's all Krishna, everything, everything belongs to Krishna. It all belongs to Krishna, right? Remember, Bhaktaram Yagna Tapasya. Oh, Maheshwaram. Krishna is Maheshwar. Means he owns everything. It all belongs to him. Krishna is Maheshwaram. 
ะคะทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างเนี่ยมาจากเราและทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างขึ้นอยู่กับเรา But devotee, the devotee we like to call Krishna the butter thief. Why does Krishna steal the butter? Because he gives pleasure to his mother. All the gopis, they also get pleasure. They see Krishna take the butter. But Krishna is doing all of these things just to give pleasure to his devotees. Krishna, Krishna doesn't need to steal the butter. Krishna doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't need to go to school. You have to go to school. Oh, wonderful, isn't it? You like to go to school. Mohan Chok, by Ronian. But Krishna doesn't have to go to school. Or when he, of course, sometimes he went to school, went to Gurukula. Bhavarama and Krishna, they went to Sandipani Muni's Gurukula. And you learned everything very quickly. You did not take a long time to learn anything. So we have to we have to learn about Krishna. Krishna went to battle battle of Kurukshetra. Did Krishna fight? No. Did Krishna fight in the battle of Kurukshetra? Mohan. When? Krishna Krishna was was not supposed to fight. He promised not to fight, but he broke his promise. So, Krishna, is Krishna a liar? Is he a cheater? Well, he's a transcendental cheater. He will cheat to increase the devotion, to help the devotee, to increase the devotion. Why did he fight? When? When? At the Kurukshetra. When Arjuna got in difficulty. When the Arjuna was in difficulty, Vishma was going to kill Arjuna. So Krishna has to protect Arjuna. So Bhishma was happy 
และบิชมาเนี่ยมีความสุขกำลังมีความสุขบิชมาวันที่ติดคำติดไปติดเที่ยวอาจุนะบิชมาเนี่ยอยากจะอยากจะมาเพื่อจะสหัส But Krishna came. Krishna picked up the chariot wheel and is going to kill Bhishma. Then, then, Bhishma, then, 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 If we don't hear about them properly from the devotee, then we won't understand. Okay. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Mat Bhagavatam ki, Lord Premanande. Thank you.